Tuesday night, welcome to the Uncle Scott O Show. We here broadcast live from onpointnj.net. Hit up them call letters and go check it out. You can see everything that you want to see on my sexy ass. <laughs> well, not, 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 not necessarily my sexy ass. My sexy, Whoa! My sexy <laughs> ass face. My fotch and gold. <laughs> All right, that's great, man. So let's go, man. I hope everybody's gonna have a great time tonight on the Uncle Scott Show. We got some fun for you, and you know we run through things like that's what we do stuff around. But yeah, you know, first off and foremost, I mean I'm a shout out. I got shout outs today. Um, uh, shout out to some people that don't really know what's going on in the world. Shout out to you. The people, I, I, I'm starting to learn now that ignorance definitely is very, very bliss. Oh. And uh, this is why when people ask me if I'm ignorant, I'll say, no, I'm just bliss. I ignorant. I'm ignorant. Are you ignorant? No, I'm bliss. I'm just a bliss man. <laughs> I'm a bliss man blessed to walk the same earth as the ignorant people. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what's the difference between ignorance and bliss. But I do know they go hand in hand. Anyway, let's get into tonight. What's good tonight? I found out a couple things here. I, I, I can't wait to tell 50 Grand this uh -oh. because I uh, I want to do this. And, and I know that he like it. I, I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm not into it as much as he would be into it. What's that? I'll tell you about it. There's this place out, and uh, I, I, I actually got the address and everything just in case something. When, when we, we make our first million coming up soon. Mm -hmm. There's a place out in Tanzania, uh -huh. and it's a, it's a, you know, off a tropical resort. Okay. They have... Uh, hotel rooms uh -huh. that are 25 feet underwater. What? And you, and there's full rooms, and you get to have a full room underwater with all the fish and everything. Yeah. And it's yeah, it's 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 floating. It's 750 dollars per person per day. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really cool. Uh, I didn't post I love it. That. I didn't post it on my link. I'll, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you the call letters for it in your message at the, at the end of the show, so you can go check it out. Oh, yeah. It's really cool, and it's it's suspended. It's floating in the middle of this resort. And they take you out there, and, 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 and like, uh, you go in, and you do your thing, and then you can come up onto the deck, and, you know, it looks really cool. So I thought that would be cool, because you like that stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, that definitely would be cool, man. But that's it. That's if anybody in Chicago lands out there in Tanzania. If you happen to be out there, you know, stop by, say you know me, and, you know, see if you get a discount. <laughs> see how that works out for you. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, let us know. Let us know how that works <laughs> out for you. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> I just you know just you know, on point nj dot net and just leave a message and uh, get, get at us man. That's because that's what we really know. You know, there's some things that are going on here that that's some crazy things. How I know the world's evolving because some things happen and you got to say to yourself, well, could you imagine this happening 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago? No. I saw a commercial today for uh, a home DNA kit to learn about your health. Mm -hmm. and what you might be more susceptible to. And I just lost my mind. It's called 2023andme.com. Mm -hmm. And you go there, and you send them a sample of your blood, and they send you back this DNA. Uh -huh. And you send it to your, bring it to your doctor, and you go over what, why you have blue eyes, why your hair looks like this, do you have, can you heart disease, kidney disease, all this stuff about your personal you know, DNA about what, what you're susceptible to and what your kids could be susceptible to and everything. And it just came out and it's cost, it costs about 500 bucks. Really? Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's totally cool. You know, I mean, I think it is. I mean, I don't have 500 I, I have to go down with that. I have to go food shopping to pay my electric bill. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but yeah, first, so. Uh -huh. But, but if you get a chance, go check it out, uh, 50 grand, 23andme.com. It's, it's incredible. I went and checked it out. It's, it's just cool, man. It's just like it tells you all this history and stuff that, you know, you know, maybe turn around and help you or turn around and bite you in the ass. Mm -hmm. so that you never know how it works around here. But you got to figure that stuff out for yourself. And, and, and that's the way it works. 
some people walk around in this life without knowing what's going on, and some people walk around in this life like they know what's going on. And that's who I choose to walk with. You know, and it's like the, like I think like to think that I'm an intelligent person, and I like to think that I'm articulate. But you know, no one knows more than uh, the know-it-all. <laughs> no one knows more than that person at exactly. any, any time. Which leads me to a funny story that happened to me today about a know-it-all. Uh, he's gonna try to tell me how to do my job. Well, what's funny is he walked out of his house and I walked out of my truck. So right there, I thought I had the upper hand. You know, I thought I totally had the upper hand. You know, and he's trying to tell me what he did back in 1976, and I'm trying to tell oh, don't him. You love those? I'm trying to tell him what I'm doing in 2013, and it didn't matter. You know, back then they didn't even use ventilators, and they didn't, you know, they they, they spray painted lead paint on cars, and you know, they still had leaded gas. And, you know, for the know-it-all out there that knows it all, uh, know it all in your house. Keep keep the know all your all your knowledge. Keep it in the house. All the people in that house that you live in know that you know it all. Mm -hmm. Just keep that, that wealth of knowledge and everything that you have in your head, just keep it in your house. Don't come out and bring it to me because, you know, I have my own problems. And like I told you, I stepped out of the truck that's working. You stepped out of the house that's not working. Sure. I just thought I'd let you guys know that. If anybody ever sees me out there and you think you know your job better than me, all you gotta do is file an application at the public works spot, try to get my job. If you can, you know. Good luck with that. Huh? Gotta look at it that way. Did you ever notice did you ever notice how people react when you tell somebody not to talk to somebody? Uh huh. You're like, Hey, what's up? I'm like, listen, I saw you talking to that dude. Don't talk to him. He's crazy and he has something to say every time you see him. And he's like, no, 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 he's cool, he's cool, he's cool. Then all of a sudden, the next day, you see him talking to him, and he'd be like this to you. I'm like this to him. Like, this is it. I was laughing the whole time. Then I beat them in, we had, in my parking lot. He came up to me goes, yo, that dude's crazy. I was like, I told you not to talk to him. He's like, well, I didn't know you meant he was that crazy. Uh -huh. Yeah. So next time, take my advice, people. Take my advice. If I tell you, don't talk to the person because the dude's out of his mind. <laughs> don't talk to the dude. He's out of his mind. Don't shoot me to look like you were right, but I can't say nothing now because I'm caught up in this conversation. Just thought I'd let you know that. Next time you're out there, you're trying to go about yeah, it. Yeah, try to figure it out for yourself. I can't because Scott O can't always be there. Can always be there in, in spirit, but I can't always be there in, in the physical. Hey, did you see uh, what happened to George Zimmerman for that? No. Oh. You know, I always thought... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is his ex-girlfriend? His, his ex-girlfriend ex shot, shot, shot yeah, gun to the know, head, $9,000 bail. But see, here, here's my thing with my whole, my whole comedic turn on. Now, if you get away with murder the first time, there ain't nothing else you should ever get in trouble for. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like OJ. OJ got away with murder. And then what happens? He goes down for for beating people up for taking his memorabilia. Like, what? did you just take, did you just beat someone up for taking your picture? Man, you OJ, take a picture of yourself again. It makes no sense to me. It's always like that. The last time you ever get in trouble should never be when you get, when you get off on murder, there ain't nothing else you could possibly do. That's, mm -hmm. You can't do nothing else. But somehow... Somehow, George Zimmerman has taken it to the next level. And now he's been, like, three or four times now in trouble with the law mm -hmm. and whatever. So, he had on bail $9,000. They took all his weapons. I think we just don't have guns still. He's an idiot, man. You know, I mean, I was, I was, you know, I was caught up in the whole thing, you know. And I understand that somebody did, you know, someone did something wrong and mm -hmm. someone else did something wrong and bad stuff happened. You know, but it's over now. But now this dude's still out there. That guy's a complete idiot. Man. He just didn't make no... He got away with complete... I did. <laughs> and he, he, this is the second time, though, he's like gotten in trouble after the trade. Third time. Third time. Third time. Okay. Third time. I thought it was the second but time. But it's still weapon involved. Weapons involved. I, he does, it's like, and, and then remember the whole setup? Uh, George Zimmerman saved five people from a bird... Five nuns from a yeah. bird bus. I was like, what? I'll eat the sub sandwich on Tuesday. He, he, while, while he handed out coupons to the media. I was like, how the hell did he get that? Oh, boy, I just didn't any of that. Who's the guy? Uh-oh.
Yo, I set it off, we go and faster. Everybody try to break with me, they has to. Knowing that I got the plot, it get creeping. Everybody knows the BD, he stays sleeping. Stay high, why well, try? I keep going by while well, people they try to get with me. They don't try. Informally, you ain't nothing to me. I set it off. Like Vivica, man, I'm supposed to cough. I go off and off and on like no one. I tell everybody, you ain't a showgun. Show one to me, you ain't doing nada. Can't do nothing to me, I got mad kata. Got flow hot, got the roll hot. And everybody knows the plot thickening and getting deeper. I stay creeping on a cat walking. It don't matter to me, they stay talking. They ain't got the money that we got. I point up in your face like a knot. You don't talk nothing, you ain't saying nothing that I ain't never heard because everything you say, I always say when I slur. <laughs> they got caught on the what you said. <laughs> and now it's time for Huckle Scout. Yeah. Ha! Top five! Plus a five! Oh, with the bat and bed. Alright. Tonight, <laughs> I got caught. What? Just gave up the top of your head yeah, I got fly time. I got fly time. <laughs> I was sitting here trying to burst your boy. I know, the whole time I was thinking, I was like, oh, that first time I got serious, it was yeah. funny. And that was, was great. great. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10. Okay. Oh, what is it about? Uh, uh, <laughs> top five was five. Mine, my, my all time. Uh, my top five was five. Black comedies of all time. Oh, man. Gotta love them. Number 10. Number 10, Baps. I don't know if anyone ever seen Baps. It's about these two fat black girls that are hot. I, you know, I love these men, black girls, but I ain't saying. You know, still what's good about black women? You can call them fat and they don't really care because you know why? They ain't hung up on the fact that they know they're fat. It means it mean thick in that way. And, and I'm sorry. You're thick. <laughs> Number you're, nine. You're thick. Number nine, white chicks. I saw it. It was funny. Uh, Eddie Cheeseburger's in it. He likes the white girl, but, you know, she's black and he, she farts all the time. I like you it. said you would never see that movie. What? White chicks. I saw bits and pieces of it. Oh, okay. That's good enough for me, though. Number eight. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, CB4. Now, CB4... Dude, I love that movie. I mean, come on now. Here. Chris Rock. Chris Rock, oh, Rock they're all in it. Our CB4, Gordon. he's funny. It's good, you know. And, it, and it, was, it came out at a good time, too. Uh, it came out when gangster rap was real big, so it was actually really funny. Number seven. Low Down Dirty Shame. Uh -huh. Low Down Dirty Shame. Keenan Ivory Wayne's uh, brainchild. Very funny. And you know what? I don't care. He, he, you know, that's what I love about the Keenans, the, the Wayans, I'm sorry, the Wayan brothers. They, they take the stereotype that they're supposed to be in and they flip it and just make it fun. I, I love that. I love it. Number six. Number six, Boomerang. Because you got to coordinate. you got to coordinate. I love it. It's got an all-star cast and it's funny as hell. Number six. Number six. We did boomerang. six. We're going to do number five. Oh, number now. five for the lot. Number five. What are you? I'm going to get you sucked. Oh, man. Another Wayne's movie. Hell yeah. That's funny. And, uh -huh. and, and, and whenever it's on, I always watch it, so I ain't even about it. Number four. Number four. How high? Yes. How could you not? Uh -huh. I mean, it's self explanatory. Yeah, exactly. It's funny. They got no one for Yeah. <laughs> get <three. laughs> Don't be a minute to South Central what you have to get juice in the hood. Uh huh. Funny. Stereotypes, everything you want from whites down to blacks to Puerto Ricans. It's got everything in it. It's funny. Get out there and see if you're missing out if you didn't. Number two. Number two, Friday. Mm -hmm. You know, because why? Because you ain't got no job. You ain't got no job. Why not? Just try to make a club. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to get fired? I can take a day off. What you trying to do? What you going to steal the boxes for? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't catch me on Oh, man. <laughs> What you got on my 40? Yeah, what you got on my 40? Uh, <laughs> searching your pockets. Dude, that movie was great. And now it's time. For Uncle Scott Oles. So number one, a hot top, plus five, plus five, all time black. Uncle Scott Oles favorite yeah. black, black movie. Yeah. Coming to America. Oh, yeah. I mean, I it, that, that, that movie, every time it's on, I have to watch it. Uh, if, 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 hell yeah. I'll wake up to She's watch it. She's a queen to be an object. Of infection, queen of infection, <laughs> you quench your loyal, <laughs> royal fire. <laughs> you gotta you love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. That's definitely at the royal penis system. The royal penis system. <laughs> oh, dude, I skipped the other two things. I'm an idiot. 
The other two I segments of the show. Yeah, I didn't even... I could, yeah, I went right it, through it. It flows. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. I completely forgot about it. It was totally flowing, too. We'll hit them real quick after right, this. No problem. And that was Uncle Scott's Hot Top 5 Plus a 5 Oh, with the patent pen. Every time that I start flowing harder, people try to bring me back my father. Can't do nothing about the white MC representing South Jersey a long time, see? Everybody thinking cool they ain't got the search. And everybody who think they search always go first. And I can go a country mile. I got your whole girl calling me with a smile. I got a song all up on my brain tone. I got to call me when you're not home alone. I got a soak in the thing that she love me. But she don't know nothing to be the IMC. I got my man 50 grand on the backside. And everybody knows he going to be down for the ride. This close quarter combat factions. Get you over when it's time for some action. Is you ever going to rip with this? Are you going to come with me at the studio and get this? I'll tell you a couple of things you should do. Go home and make it suspenseful. BDI to MC, part three, Tekken. Everybody knows I whip your ass and play Tekken. Try to flex with me, you can't get on down. I always jump up to get down. Nasty! <laughs> I think that was very inspirational. Yeah, was, uh, no, I, I think you had some things in your mind from the things in the mind with the things in the That's mind. That's inspirational. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's sporadic. It's just so nice to be on the inside of the mind. The mind <laughs> the inside. That was some sporadic. You know, cause, yeah, exactly. Because you always got the, <laughs> the subliminal. Yeah, so, uh, I'm subliminal. Subliminal. <laughs> <laughs> Extra subliminal. Extra subliminal. So. Yes. Uh. Who's putting in the turtle? Tonight, I'm going to put in the turtle real quick because we're going through this. Now, at my job, th th there's two different people. There's people that oh, bridge. Oh, yeah. What is your job? I'm my job gonna... is to put people in the turtle. That's right. Now, at my job, there's two different, not not, not the actual job at the Scott Old Show, but my job when I'm not on the Scott Old Show, the place that I'm at 98% of the time, which I really wish I wasn't. Uh, but I am. Me too. Got to stay on my grind. So, uh, anyway, uh -huh. stay grinding, guys. Stay We're grinding. Anyway, there's two different people at the job that I work at. You got people that fix things and people that break things. I happen to be one of the people that break things. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm putting the mechanics in the toilet tonight because you know why? Your job is to fix things. Well, on the other hand, my job is to break things, okay? Now, if you want the shoe on the other foot, put the shoe on the other damn foot. And don't be a mechanic no more and get out there and be the guy that breaks things and let somebody else fix the stuff to fix things. That's who's getting put in the turtle tonight. Mechanics at my work. I told you, I have my job, you have your job. Do it. That's all I got to say about that. And my, uh, by the way, my truck still going, bro. Yeah, and by the way, my truck's still still down. No shit. Two weeks. Wow. Two weeks. It only took me but two minutes to break it. <laughs> and it takes you two minutes. Tell me some random shit you did to piss somebody off. I had to do this today for y'all because it was Tuesday and I was running out of material. So the random people that I pissed off today was uh, at my job. We got totally new uh, gas pumps today for the police department and for the uh, public works department. And what my job was today was to randomly piss people off, which I do very well, may I add. What we did was I sat at the pumps today and was telling everyone that the pumps weren't fully functional today. When in all reality... They were fully functional today. Sending everybody down to the MUA, which is down by the bus stop, to get their gas. Meanwhile, I filled up at the pumps that worked today, even though I told everyone they did work today. Did I get reprimanded? Probably not. Will I get yelled at about it tomorrow? Maybe not, because what I did was made a big funny on everybody at the public works, including the police department. Huh. So, that's my gift to you today. Pissing off random people at work. Because you know why? I spent so much effing time there. What else am I going to do? Until I am not spending my effing time there, I'm going to continuously piss people off there. Until either they A, get rid of me with full pay, or B, tell me to retire with full pay. Either way, I'm not doing so. That's what I'm going to do. And that's the random hip side pissed off today. The random pips. Random pips. The random pips that I pissed Pippy off. Pippy Longstock. Yeah, the random pippies. <laughs>
That was great. Jeez, life. Now they told by Uncle Scott. I'm the Uncle Scott old shuck, baby. He's the Uncle Scott old shuck. Come to know you're about to be spooked. You've just been born. And this is the boy you're going to catch the home. I'm the Uncle Scott old shuck, baby. He's the Uncle Scott old shuck. Come to know he loves to play. He loves to hate. He loves to make you in his quiver with the liquor in his lips. Uncle Scott old shuck, baby. He's the Uncle Scott old shuck. <laughs> Thanks for coming out to the Uncle Scott Old Show, man. Well, you know, you get told by me, Uncle Scott Old. Come check us out on point and Jake dot net, 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 net. Get it out there. Go check it out. Tell your friends. Tell your mom's friends. Tell your friends and your mom. Tell all them people. And I hope you enjoyed your stuff. And we will see you next Tuesday here. And we hope that we will entertain you as much as we did on this Tuesday. With that being said, when you leave it, stay focused. And when you're focused, you can leave. Now get out of here. And peace. We'll see you next week, brother.